there is not only an either or in terms of national identity, cultural identity, ethnic identity, religious identity, not even in terms of gender identities. So this idea of hybridization of societies connects to the idea uh, of the postmodernity where it says anything is possible. And you have to accept that that, uh, that borders and frontiers are getting crossed, not only in terms of outer borders of, of, na of ci cities or, or countries, but also in terms of borders of identity, borders of gender identity, borders of national, cultural, ethnic identities. And this is something which can cause a lot of aggression because people in terms of social psychology need to act according to their borders that they set up from, for themselves. And people who cross these borders are described as being some part of the other. They are not the foreigner and they are not me. They are something in between. And this is an idea that Sigmund Baumann, a sociologist that died this year, had developed very much on it where he said, the idea of aggression is mainly produced by that person that doesn't fit into your categories any longer. And this is what happens when societies get pluralized. They, get, um, they have a lot of different identities that at the same time demand for representation, at the same time contest privileges of those who had always been forming part of the stable society, of the society in one category with a clear frontier. They cross these frontiers, they blur the lines, and they make up this kind of fuzziness that is contested in plural democracies. But on the other side, the constitutions rely on this plurality. If you have a look at the German constitution, it says about the same rights of all citizens in this constitution, no matter where they came from. And the idea that is there, and that also is a cognitive idea, somehow clashes with this emotional idea of we have been there first, so we have to have more rights than those who came afterwards.